from the previous class, then we can take it up right away. Okay, so uh, what do you mean by static power dissipation? So when input is stable, nothing is changing and that, at that point of time, there might be some leakage. Hmm. So static power is when there is no change in input, everything is stable. Even then some power is getting consumed. See in CMOS, we said that, uh, so we will do it in much more detail later also. But in CMOS inverter, we saw that in a stable state, there is no on current, neither from the NMOS nor from the PMOS because of the, uh, the fact that uh, the NMOS, either one of the NMOS or the PMOS will be on. Both will not be on in a stable state. During transition, something would happen, but otherwise in a stable state, only one of them would be on. So there is no direct VDT to ground path and we do not expect any current to flow, but some current still flows and that is called as static current or static power or leakage, different ways to call it. Uh, so what okay. do you mean by that no change in input? I mean, uh, why would that condition occur? I mean, so you tell me, I just transitioned from zero to one. Yes, sir. And the next cycle will come after two nanoseconds. Yes, sir. So what happens in the, in this duration? Uh, so one of the inputs would be stable at least. Yeah, one of the, uh, we are just talking about an inverter. It only has one input, so the input is stable. No input is toggling, but even then, some current will flow. Okay, so the amount of that current will be much larger. In a CMOS, that current will be lesser, but the current will flow. Okay. Enough? Right. So that is called as static current. But the path would be there anytime the current, some the current would be flowing because of that, uh, whatever the store, whatever the, whatever was stored in the capacitor. So that can be, that would flow. Then there's no change. So let us say, for example, uh, give me. Then. Let us say, for example, there is this inverter hmm. now let us say this stores a vdd now the input is zero where is the path there is a path here but then uh, this both the drain and source are on vdd so the current vds is zero current is zero there is no on current in the system as of now isn't it so? Okay, okay. We are uh, talking in terms of inverter only right now. Yeah, the meeting is getting recorded. Okay. No, sir. We are talking in terms of the inverter itself, right? The difference in inverter. Right. Yeah. Okay. The bank. No, Grafman, sir. Sir, I wanted to ask related to previous lecture. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, I did not get how are we reducing activity factor by uh, uh, put, putting our complex logic in the beginning because my idea was that because the clock will enter the complex logic at the beginning itself so most toggling would be faced by that so we're reducing activity factor by putting the complex logic in the beginning with the punk. okay you're simply reducing the overall area and capacitances by doing that so that is not related, not related to activity factor at all. No, okay. so I, I think I, okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So coming to static power, let us refresh about the, uh, you know, 1 billion transistor chip that we were talking about, where we said that, uh, there were 1 billion, 1 billion transistors of which 95% was memories and uh, remaining was logic and so on. Remember that case that we studied for the dynamic power in the last session? Yes, sir. Yes, Divya? Nothing, sir. You, you were asking them. I said yes. Okay, okay. So uh, now we are just adding in some more details so that we can estimate the leakage of that chip also. We are saying that uh, 
the normal vt the leakage current in the normal vt devices 100 nanoampere per millimeter and that of a high vt devices 10 nanoampere per millimeter hmm? and that hvt devices are used in all the memories and 95% of logic gates are also high vt there is some gate leakage which is 5 nanoamperes per millimeter and then junction leakage which we say is negligible as of now because we are not applying any body bias or anything like that okay so just remember these things so that when we want to estimate a, a, the leakage at chip level you will know where to and how to arrive at it is that okay so we said that width of normal vt devices 50 million devices are normal vt their length is 12 lambda we know that lambda is 0.025 by lambda and uh, we we just saw that uh, uh, the what was the 0.54 just give me a minute yeah there were total devices so 95% of devices were hvt so 5% of devices are normal vt so normal vt the total width that you get is 0.75 into 10 raised to power 6 microns similarly you calculate for high vt devices 50 50 50 million uh, logic devices 12 lambda uh, 95% of logic devices are high vt then all the memory devices are high vt and we multiply with the lambda factor so we get the overall uh, width for the hvt devices also we have also been given the current per width for a uh, hvt and a svt device for a normal vt device and we can simply estimate that uh, why do you think we are divided by 2 over here Sir, to get the average of high okay. VT and normal VT. No, we don't need to do average of high VT and normal VT. They are simply being added. This two is because of something else. Sir, PMOS and NMOS will not have the same amount of leakage at same point of time in the stimuli. So what we are saying is that in a CMOS logic, either PMOS is off or NMOS is off. So only one of them is leaking. The other one is not leaking at all because it is on. So this doesn't make sense, sir. Any... In an inverter, yes, sir. The one, the one that we just saw in the over there, uh, when the input is zero and the output is one, which of the two devices is leaking? Are I both know. of them leaking? NMOS cannot leak, I think. Suppose no, NMOS, NMOS cannot leak. Why will NMOS not leak? I mean, it is there is no path to ground. So where will the current go then? I mean, so what does leakage mean? When there is no action happening, then some current is flowing. When a device is off. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When a device is off, so there is no evident path for on current. Yeah, but so still... even then, some current is flowing. That is why it is called as off current. Yeah. Yes. So which of the two devices is off over here? NMOS. So in fact, NMOS is leaking. Yes. And the PMOS is not leaking. So, but PMOS also, there is no current going after it has reached that. Yeah, but it is on. You okay. will not call that as leakage current. Okay. Okay. Anna, so in a static condition, the PMOS will not govern the amount of current that is flowing through it. The NMOS will govern the amount of current that will flow through the PMOS also, is it not? Applying simple Kirchhoff's law. I mean, sir, you're saying that uh, when this NMOS is off, so though there is no on current path, but still there is some path that will be the cause of leaking. And that will provide the whole connection for the current from PMOS also to sink through that. Uh, yeah. NMOS See, PMOS part. is on. PMOS wants to sync this kind of current, huge yes, current. Yes, sir. Hmm? NMOS is off. Yes. yes. NMOS says 
no no current can flow from me i will uh, i will flow only very small current from myself i'm not able to draw it on the screen so that is what the nmos would say yes sir. what happens but due to some uh, junction uh, getting overlap or some kind of overlap there is some path provided by nmos there is some path but let us apply kirchhoff's law over there yes yes what happens uh the so overall current that can flow from the pmos is limited to the current that will flow from the nmos yes sir. pmos cannot supply more current than the nmos can think sir no? yes sir but we we would be considering the current from the capacitor also right now or just the right. nmos See the capacitor is charged at VDD. Yes, sir. So, if the PMOS has to, so if the capacitor cannot source current from itself, can it? No, 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 sir. So, if NMOS is to sink any current, and PMOS is ready to give so much of current, will the current come from the capacitor or from the PMOS? Okay, yeah, yeah. PMOS will not allow it, sir, because it will will maintain the voltage. Yeah. Okay. Anna? Yes, sir. Pfizer. So, uh, just uh, just for the clarification, uh, when we are talking about the uh, the high VT devices, those are the memory devices, right? Like uh, no logic devices can also be high VT. So how we are uh, how we are distinguishing between like ninety five percent will be high VT, and the other five percent is why is that, sir? That is a that is a design of our chip. Okay. Okay. And, Okay, okay, understood. And one more thing, sir. Uh, uh, I am quite a bit confused between gate leakage and junction leakage. Like in junction. Yeah, we will come to that. Okay, 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 fine. We will come to that in a little while. Okay, okay. thank you. So, yeah, uh, till now, is it clear that we have these many devices, hmm? and uh, these devices? Uh, just give me a moment. My system is. Slowing down a bit. Just give me a moment. Hmm. Sir. Yes. Sir, so to find. Leakage current, sir. Uh, it's enough to find the current flowing through IDD at a point where my output is high. Uh, what do you mean? Okay. Can you so, please yes, repeat? sir. Yes, sir. I I'll repeat it again. So to find leakage current, it's and I, I can uh. find the current i'm like uh, in ezw or something i'll be finding the i'll be getting the wave of the current so uh, i'll be just uh, measuring this wave where my output is high that gives me my leakage current is i'm um, is this statement correct sir why leakage will happen even when the output is low nahi hmm. sir uh, now uh, while you were discussing sir So for for the example of an inverter sir mm -hmm. uh, in that in that case you are saying that will be uh, when when my vdd is high i will be making uh, i'll take kcl over there and uh, as my capacitance is uh, fully charged and my pmos is ready to supply much no, larger amount sir i am sorry sir i can't hear you sir. i'm sorry i'm asking is will uh, will Uh, will KCL apply only when the output is high, or will KCL apply even when output is low? Even when output is low, sir. So even when output is low, input is high. Even then, you will have uh, the same method of calculating leakage. Just that when the output is low, it means input is high. It means PMOS is off. So PMOS will govern the leakage, not the NMOS. That's it. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Hana. But uh, as PMOS drain is at higher higher voltage, sir. Uh, hmm, I mean, it's obviously at VDD, and capacitor can't ch charge over VDD. So, will there be any kind of current over there, sir? Because my output is at VDD. It might be at VDD or less than VDD. 
but yeah, it won't so go if ddss is zero if ddss is zero there is no on current hai na yes sir vds of the vds for the pmos is zero na that is what you are saying output is vdd and uh, supply is also vdd yes sir yes sir drain and source both are at zero hmm at yes, vdd sir. vdd yeah so there is when, no when on PMOS. current yes but the There'll pmos is on it can offer as much current as you want okay so this is a general offer only as more much current as not sinks it will not be able to sink any more current okay this is a generalized statement but for inverter it, uh, inverter as uh, when pmos is on and mos will be off so it will uh, uh, there won't arise a condition like that in any right. cmos circuit if the nmos stack is off the pmos stack is on or vice versa yes cmos sir. cmos yes sir yes Okay. Uh, so sir like uh, can i say that ki uh, the source for the though the path is provided by the off device but the source ultimately is the voltage source basically for the leakage current also even okay. it is drawn from the source itself yeah yeah okay sir yeah current current will always come from any current would always come from supply na yeah yes. current comes from anywhere else even if it was a capacitor that was charged some time back that current had also come from the supply yes sir yes sir yeah so but actually, actually yeah you will be able to uh, link it to supply from somewhere anyways you will be able to do that yes sir yeah yes sir.